Tesla's Model 2 just went from rumor to reality, and it's carrying technology that's already driving through Austin with nobody behind the wheel. Right now, fully driverless Teslas are navigating downtown traffic with empty front seats, and Elon Musk himself just confirmed he's riding in them. But here's the shocking part. This same autonomous system is being engineered directly into the $25,000 Model 2. How is Tesla solving the one problem that's plagued every camera-based self-driving car? And why is NVIDIA's robotics chief calling this AI breakthrough the physical Turing test? Let's dive right in! While everyone's obsessing over Cybertruck deliveries and Optimus robots, Tesla just committed nearly 1 billion euros to something that sounds boring but changes everything. Battery production at Giga Berlin. Andre Thierig, Tesla's senior manufacturing director, announced they're targeting 8 gigawatt hours of annual battery output by 2027. That's enough to power roughly 100,000 Model 2s every single year from just one factory. But here's where it gets interesting. Tesla publicly stated that producing batteries economically in Europe is currently almost impossible due to competition from China and the US. So why dump a billion euros into something they're calling nearly impossible? The answer reveals Tesla's actual strategy. They're not just building a cheap car, they're building an untouchable supply chain that competitors can't replicate. Right now, Giga Berlin imports every battery cell from China and the US. Every single one. That means logistics costs, geopolitical risk, and zero control over production timing. For a $60,000 Model Y, those inefficiencies are annoying. For a $25,000 Model 2 with razor-thin margins, they're catastrophic. Tesla can't hit that price point while shipping batteries across oceans. The math simply doesn't work. On December 24th, Elon Musk posted something that didn't get nearly enough attention. He described riding in a Tesla with no safety supervision system that drove him all over Austin with perfect driving. Not good driving perfect driving. Then Tesla's AI director Ashok Eluswamy posted a two-minute video from the back seat, both front seats completely empty, while the car navigated real traffic. These weren't controlled demonstrations on closed courses. This was Christmas Eve traffic in Austin, Texas. Real intersections, real pedestrians, real unpredictability. And the system handled it flawlessly, without anyone ready to grab a steering wheel that doesn't even exist in some of these test vehicles. Now connect this to Model 2. Tesla isn't developing two different autonomous systems, one for expensive robo-taxis and another for cheap consumer cars. They're engineering one platform that scales down. Every mile these driverless vehicles log in Austin, every edge case they solve, every software refinement, it all feeds directly into the Model 2's capabilities. But there's a problem that's been plaguing this entire approach. And it's so obvious that most people miss it. Camera-based autonomy has one Achilles heel. Sunlight. When bright light hits a camera lens directly, it creates glare that corrupts the image. Humans solve this with sunglasses and sun visors, but Tesla's vision system doesn't have that luxury, until now. Tesla just filed a patent for an anti-glare panel that sounds like science fiction. Instead of a smooth surface, they're creating arrays of microscopic cones, think thousands of tiny pyramids, that scatter incoming light in multiple directions. The cones are optimized for specific sizes, angles, and orientations, to minimize what engineers call total hemispherical reflection. Here's the stunning part. The system is mechatronic, meaning it dynamically adjusts based on where sunlight is coming from. It's not passive protection. It's 
active defense against the one environmental factor that's plagued every camera-based self-driving system ever built. Musk mentioned during a Q2 earnings call that they're also exploring direct photon counting, which processes light at the individual photon level. Future hardware versions, hardware 5 and 6, may include neutral density filters and heated lenses. They're attacking this problem from every possible angle because they know it's the difference between a system that works 99% of the time and one that works 100% of the time. For Model 2 buyers, this means something profound. You're not getting a dumbed-down version of Tesla's autonomy. You're getting the battle-tested version that's already solved the hardest technical challenges. A matte gold cybercab was spotted last week navigating downtown Austin traffic. Not at Giga Texas. Not on a closed lot. Downtown. Real traffic. Real chaos. The vehicle had temporary side mirrors and a safety supervisor in the driver's seat. But here's what matters. The cyber cab is architecturally designed without a steering wheel or pedals from the ground up. Those components were bolted on purely for regulatory compliance while Tesla collects real-world data. This isn't the same as watching a cyber cab glide smoothly around Warner Brothers' studio lot back in October. Controlled environments tell you nothing about how a system performs when a cyclist suddenly swerves, when construction narrows a lane, when a pedestrian steps off the curb while staring at their phone. Downtown Austin provides all of that chaos in concentrated form. Mass production of CyberCab begins in April 2026, just four months away. Tesla's engineers are working against a fixed deadline to validate every system, every sensor redundancy, every edge case, before vehicles start rolling out to replace Model Y-based robo-taxis on Austin streets and eventually San Francisco. But why does this matter for Model 2? Because CyberCab is the extreme testbed. It's autonomy-first design with zero compromises. No steering wheel to fall back on, no human driver as backup. Every lesson learned from pushing that vehicle into the real world, software validation, sensor calibration, manufacturing simplification, flows directly into Model 2's architecture. Tesla isn't building two separate platforms. They're building one next-generation system that works whether you're paying $25,000 or using a robo-taxi service. The difference is just the business model. Jim Fan runs robotics research at NVIDIA. He's not a Tesla fanboy. He's one of the world's leading experts in embodied AI and leads Project GR00T. When someone at his level calls something a breakthrough, you pay attention. Fan recently tested FSD version 14 in his personal Tesla and described it as the first AI to pass what he calls the physical Turing test. Unlike the original Turing test that measures conversational ability, this benchmark evaluates whether AI can demonstrate human-like intelligence through physical actions, specifically driving. His exact words, initially it felt extraordinary, almost magical. Over time, the system became intuitively natural, much like using a smartphone. Removing it would now feel disruptive. That last line is critical. The technology didn't just work, it became invisible. It integrated so seamlessly into the driving experience that its absence would feel wrong. That's not incremental improvement. That's a fundamental shift in what autonomous driving means. Musk responded by saying, V14 allows users to feel the maturity of its awareness, calling it the best practical AI available today. Translation. Tesla isn't promising future capabilities. They're delivering them right now in vehicles people are already driving. For Model 2, this validation changes the entire value proposition. 
Tesla plans to integrate advanced FSD features as standard equipment. Not as a $15,000 add-on. Not as a future software unlock. Built in. Included. From day one. Think about what that means for the competitive landscape. A $25,000 EV that drives itself better than systems in $100,000 luxury cars. How does any traditional automaker compete with that? They can't match Tesla's data advantage. Over a billion miles of real-world autonomous driving logged across millions of vehicles. They can't match the vertical integration and they definitely can't match the cost structure once Giga Berlin's battery production comes online. Here's where all these pieces converge into one coherent strategy. April 2026. CyberCab mass production begins. 2027. Giga Berlin hits 8 gigawatt hours battery output. 2026 to 2027. Model 2 production ramps with fully integrated autonomous capability. Tesla isn't just launching a cheap car. They're launching a complete ecosystem where the most affordable vehicle in their lineup carries the most advanced technology. They're solving the hardest technical problems. Camera glare, battery supply chains, regulatory frameworks on purpose-built robo-taxis then deploying those solutions at scale in mass market vehicles. The question isn't whether Model 2 will have driverless capability. It's whether traditional automakers can survive once it does. Here's the answer. Tesla isn't just adding autonomy to their cheapest car. They're proving breakthrough tech doesn't need luxury pricing. The camera glare patent, the 1 billion euro battery investment, the empty seat testing in Austin, it all confirms Model 2 launches with the same driverless capability delivering perfect driving in robo-taxis today. This changes everything. When a $25,000 EV outdrives $100,000 luxury cars, the automotive hierarchy collapses. Legacy automakers assumed advanced features stay expensive forever. Tesla just shattered that model. April 2026. Cybercab production starts. 2027. Giga Berlin hits 8 gigawatt hours battery output. Model 2 arrives between these milestones carrying a decade of autonomous development. Standard equipment, not premium add-on. My question for you. Which traditional automaker survives once Tesla proves full self-driving works at mass market prices? Drop your prediction in the comments. If this breakdown clarified Tesla's real strategy, smash that like button. Subscribe to Tech Revolution and hit the notification bell for our next deep dive into the tech reshaping transportation. The autonomous era isn't coming. You're watching it arrive in real time.